Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenroff here. I'm going to be jumping back into Jumpstart, and I'll try to prioritize blue or red packs for this one. Uh, the exceptions being, I need one more enchanted potentially in order to have four core spirit dancers without having to spend any rare wild cards, and of course, Phyrexian, because T1 Glistenroff. Alright, so let's, we have gotten more than enough wins. Let's jump back in. Hello? There we go. Forces you out each time. Alright, so choose. Now let's see. Hmm. I mean, this one seems easy. It would be devilish, right? Because we're trying to do blue or red. Devilish spooky minions. Huh. Alright. Now I can't remember if either of these happen to be uh, rare packs, but we'll, we'll go with this one for now. Witchcraft, Above the Clouds, and Doctor. Uh, blue is the other one, right? So, <clears throat> red and blue. Here we go. So, Devilish Above the Clouds. Plenty of these just sound like album names for indie bands or, oh heck, metal bands for some of them, I'm sure. Devilish Vampires. Oh, that's a band name, not an album name. Devilish Vampires. Devilish Minions. Devilish Rogues. Vampire Rogue. Okay. I didn't actually even take a look at the deck list. I've seen this a number of times, but for your sake, I should have shown you. So, yeah, we'll keep. This is fine. Alright. So, how have you all been today? Been alright. Aha! Okay. That'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. Seems pretty good against the aggro deck. 3 damage to any target, 3 damage to any target. Okay. So we'll have a bit of a hard time getting through that wall for a little while. Sigilt Starfish seems really good against us. Hmm. That is... That is tough. I'd be spending 2 cards to get rid of something that's bound to give them a ton of advantage over the course of the game. I really wouldn't like to do it now, but I might want to. It might be inclined to. Oh boy. Or I could get two cards out of it. I think it's okay. We'll... Hmm. Alright, we'll just develop our board. Just hope that Starfish doesn't change too much. Nocturnal Fear. Yeah. Okay. So they found vampire. Oh, wait, no, this is rogues. They found rogues. Or is it vampires? Uh, no, wait, this is the rogues land. That's right. Okay. Hmm. Roaming Ghost Light. Okay. Uh, I should play... No, that's fine. I would like to be able to get to the point where I can use Active Treason and Collateral Damage. But we're not there just yet. We'll pass. Not just yet. Alright, Sigiled Starfish does its thing. Scry, please keep it on top. Just so that it won't have changed anything. This is this kind of design for a card is one of my favorites in the game. You spend a card and you make that initial investment and say, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you to give me more cards to make up for it. In limited at least. Seems really good. And it's a zero three, so it can block a decent bit at the time. Uh oh. Are they AFK? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So, next turn I'll be able to use Active Treason to take Nocturnal Feeder and then attack them with it. Let's see, neither of you have flying, of course. 
and then collateral damage targeting s sigiled starfish. Aha, okay, so they got there. I forgot to tell them hello. Yeah, that's on me. Did I? I I'm pretty sure I forgot to. And then I'll play the island so that if I draw another island, I can play Roman Ghost Light. Um, you know, they might just have, like, an internet issue. That's certainly... I'm no stranger to that. Uh-oh. Here we go. Not like this, opponent. Not like this. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you, Ajani. Demir Ajani. Blue Black Ajani. I believe in you. Come on. You can do this. You can do this, boyo. You can do this, buddy. Come on. Not sure he's going to make it. I think if he times out again, that's the game, right? Uh, okay. So in that case, pass two attackers, go to my turn. Alright. Active treason, targeting you. Uh-oh. Oh, Sigiled Starfish! Oh no! If they're still AFK, then Sigiled Starfish is going to kill them. Sigil Starfish broken, it's OP. But only if you intend to SD. <laughs> only if you plan on losing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look at that art, by the way. You know, th this guard that, for whatever reason, just cannot see the flaming. Just turn around, dude, there's a bunch of light. I'm sure you can see the light. Hmm, why do I have a shadow all of a sudden? <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, and that's, that's game. That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. Oy, yay yay. Okay. Well, so that happened, I guess. Let's see what we got, at least. Ripped another Riptide Laboratory. Laboratory. Didi, get out of my laboratory! Alright, let's play let's play a real game, hopefully. Here's two. Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. I did forget, actually. Alright, so this is what Devilish Above the Clouds looks like. This is the deck list. So Wall of Runes, Barrage of Expendables. Uh, nice. Uh, collateral damage, lightning core excavator. We saw those. Keen Glide Master, Lofty Denial, nice to have one finally, Un Unsubstantiate, Chained Brute, Hobble Fiend, Frost Breath, and of course if you need to, pause 1080p as your friend for these, Mistral Singer, Active Treason, Sin Prodder, Spiteful Prankster, Capture Sphere, Reign of Revelation, that's an instant, nice, Tide Skimmer, Tauren's Invocation, Traitorous Greed, Hellrider. I played against you a bunch back in Standard, dude. Uh, and yes, the Gale Force. Let's see. Uh, Roaming Ghostlight, Havoc Jester, and Pitchfork Devils. And then, of course, the usual suite of lands. So this is, this is interesting. Um, hmm. Makes me think that if you find Feathered Friends as well, this is just busted, right? At least in, in the context of Jumpstart. Hmm, okay. So then, Reign of Revelation is just one mana more expensive uh, thirst for knowledge, uh, but at the same time, you don't have to discard an artifact. Okay, I mean, that's fair enough, I suppose. Let's play it again. Actually, didn't keep track of how many red or blue spells they cast. It was just Active Treason, I believe. Yeah, that's the only one. Beppa 23. Alright. Aha, speaking of which, although no flying creatures yet. Alright. Hmm, okay. Sure. I'll try to figure out a way to make this work. Right. Play an island and go. Say hello. Yo.
Ay, ay, ay. I had a, I had a chance to rhyme something there, the ending in O, oh, and I forgot to say Jojo. Why? How? <laughs> Thriving Grove, okay. Oh no, okay, okay. Stuff is happening. Pass. I'm gonna hold up the lofty denial. Interesting. So three two. That's my kind of card. Okay. Well, I guess I go for it now. Flash. I have another land. I think I'll wait. I'm going to end up getting punished for that, though. I have a feeling. Ooh. Okay. Alright, alright. So they have no one drops. Good. Good to know. In that case, I will wait and use Capture Sphere. Forest, okay. Kinetic Augur, number of instants and sorceries in your graveyards. When ETBs, discard up to two cards, then draw that many cards. Now we fire it off. Alright, so you can hit me for one. Alright, so I didn't draw land. That's a bit unfortunate. I think we take one turn with Sin Prodder, and then just go from there. Try to... It doesn't really build up that much card advantage, though. I mean, I am expecting this next turn to hurt. So let's, let's actually wait. See if they can play this correctly. Any sorcery speed shenanigans going on? Shenanadoos? Uh oh. Okay. Oh, five mana! And it's a 3 3 death touch creature. That's interesting. I guess we'll just do this now. That's okay. Alright. What is this? Spiteful prankster? First strike, whenever another creature dies, it deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Cool. Now it's time for our good friend Sin Prodder. Let's try to build some cards. Or at least poke them along the way. It won't actually grant me any lands though, if I'm reading this correctly. You reveal the top card, they may have you put that card in your graveyard. If a player does, it deals damage to the player equal to the card CMC. So if it's land, they take zero. I'm sorry, what? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. It'll work against itself with roaming ghostlight if I find another land. If I find another land. A land that comes in untapped, preferably. Okay, we're just doing it now. Fair enough. Alright, Sin Prodder, what you got? Ah, uh, are they looking at it? Oh, Tauron's Invocation. Would they like to take four, or let me have two flyers? 
The answer is you take four. Yeah, okay. That's that's correct. That is the correct thing to do. And I guess I should attack first. Menace. So they can't block it. Okay. So now what? They're there. I, don't, I would not like to win another one in the same way. The opponent goes AFK. Let's not say we did it. Alright. Oh, they have stuff. Hungry Flames. Very nice. Alright. Let's bounce you. Alright. And there goes Presence of God. Hmm. Okay. So I traded one 3 2 for another 3 2 with an evasion ability. Ah, so another 5 mana Death Touch creature. Cool. As you do. Elves is so fun. Elves is so fun to play. Thrill of Possibility. So it counts itself, and I have another flyer in hand. None of you jerks have flying. Hmm. They have a death touch creature, so I'm incentivized to try to take to the air. Take to the sky. So this, yeah, that's an instant. I'm not sure why they did it there. Especially since they had played a land drop, right? Solana Wayfinder. Oh. Oh, okay. It's not card advantage or anything. You don't add it to hand, but still. It's nice. Alright. So if the opponent is at 13, if we pumped up, we'd need a land. But if we pumped up twice, we'd be at 7 plus, you know, 1, 2, 1, 2. So yeah, it's 11. It's not quite enough. One damage to target creature with flying. Yeesh. Uh oh. Oh no. That would kill Ghostlight. And Mistral Singer. I can try to play around it with Mistral Singer by taking advantage of Prowess. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's good. So now I can actually hold up a response. As long as I don't tap too much. Wait, who has reach? Nobody? Alright, cool. And what's the ability here? Three or more creatures you control with flying attack. Each player gains control of a non-land prone of your choice controlled by the player to their right. Each player. So I give them my worst permanent, non-land permanent. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm, well that's that's fine, except I only have flying permanents. It's weird. Technically speaking, it's weird. So I guess I should... Oh, no, 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 no. No, that was wrong, because now I don't have enough mana for saving Ghostlight. I don't have enough mana to save Ghostlight anymore. It's okay. Unless they find Reach, which they will, that the creature has Reach. This thing has Reach. Crap. Okay, well, oops. That was, that was on me. We can salvage it, but... That was, that was my bad. As long as they don't mess this up. They would have to tap out, though. 
Okay, there we go. Now, when it dies, three days. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. Whoa, what just happened here? Aha! I see. I see what's going on. Oh, I'm dead! I'm dead. This is 20. I can block. No, wait a minute. Nothing is trampled here. Yeah, nothing is trampled. Okay, well, in that case. Oh, wait, they, they do have trample now, right? Base power toughness 5-5 five, five becomes a dinosaur. No? No? Okay. Um. Sure? Question mark? Uh, three at them, I guess? I guess I could kill the shepherd. Not that it matters too much. They have no cards in hand, so I guess I'll just kill the shepherd. Oh, no, you idiot. No, you idiot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got so stupidly lucky. I was supposed to hit them because this thing has reach. Oh, you idiot. Oh, that would have that would have been bad. Because then they can just block uh, in any Oz, and then even if I pump twice, they'll be at one. Oh, I'm so lucky. I am so lucky here. That, that was messed up. That should not have happened. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, I should have just thrown it at them. I don't know why, I, I guess that I thought that the decision didn't matter. I didn't look carefully enough to notice. Oh, folks, pay attention. Do it. <laughs> pay more attention than I do, please. That was, <gasps> okay, we got a mythic. We have yet another. Okay, that's cool. So if I find the mill pack, then we'll be in decent shape, right? Cool. You know what? Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. I should have lost that. <laughs> no, I should have won, except I threw it, except the game picked up the slack for me. The game's like, I got you. Arena said, I got you. Tom Anderson, not Todd Anderson. Okay. Tom Anderson. That's the MySpace guy, right? No. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll keep. Hold full control and tell the opponent go. Alright. Yay. Good times. Good times. Right on time, Excavator. Right on time. Chained Brute. Let's go for that instead. Okay. Keen Glide Master. So this is what? Feathered Friends, I think? Alright, so now it won't get to untap for a bit, for a hot minute. It does not itself have flying, sadly. Okay. Warded Battlements. Hmm. Okay. So guess what we didn't find? Attacking creatures you control get plus one, plus O. Oh. I think I might have to do something about that. Hmm. Oh, it's Teo's symbol. Well, that's pretty neat. Alright. Yep. This is target creature. Alright, wanna trade? That'll work. Gale Swooper. 
Whooper. Alright. Uh, I'd like to save that if I can. So, especially since I can't even attack right now. Not really. That's four coming at me, though. So I need to be careful. Hmm. Honestly, I'm tempted just to throw this thing at the swooper. Let's develop more of a board first. Just attack. Uh, no, we can, we can wait. Can we? Yeah, we can wait. I'd really like to not have to give that up. If at all possible. I would really like to not have to give that up. Maybe I'm playing a little too patiently with my life total here. Yeah, but flyers that get an extra plus one plus out, that's pretty neat. Gaggle Master. Gain two life for each creature you control with flying. Yeah, fair enough. Alright. Now we're going to have to do something about that. Okay, so options. I can sack this, tap these two down, attack for... Oh boy. Not enough. Okay. I'll wait a little longer. Can't wait forever, though. Block with battlements. Make him do it. This isn't a deck that I'm expecting to have a lot of haste. Valorous Steed. Uh-oh. Can we please find land? Please? Ah, uh, finally. Finally. Okay. So I'll wait. They get to untap. This is going to hurt. A lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, yeah, no, we're, we're doing something here. We're doing a thing. Alright. Target this. Sack this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. ruh -ro. I mean, that... That could be worse. They're gonna gain a ton of life here. Well, they gain four life. Oh, it's the... This is another one of, like, the super rare ones. The mythic ones. This is Pegasus. Pegasus City. Man. Oh, this, this stinks. This hurts. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Can trade with this guy. No, let's just block here. Oh, uh, but that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. What do I have going on for me? Tauren's Invocation. Yeah, no, we, we've actually lost the game. We've lost. Good game. Win without lands for too long. Ooh. Also, I think I held on to that lightning core excavator for too long. Maybe if I had used it to hit the battlements early, that would have saved me a decent bit. Alright, come on. We can get two more. 
Skull King 478. Skull King. We are already out of coffee. That does not bode well. The coffee not just keeps me awake, it's, uh, it's RNG manipulation. Let's go with that. That's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. There was a drop. I didn't lie, there was a drop. I thought I was out. And then, what do I care for here? Creature or spell? Oh, we can get this down now. Spiteful prankster. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see if they're willing to make the trade. I doubt it, especially since it's a ramp deck, but we'll see. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Alright. This has no chance of giving us an extra land, but maybe we can get something out of it. Probably not, given their life total. They're willing to take hits for a bit. And maybe that was wrong, maybe I'm supposed to hold up unsubstantiate, but I would like to be able to do it next turn, after getting Prankster down. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is Elves, right? Yeah, this is Elves. Ah, hi, Elves. Ooh, uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's fair. That's fair, I guess. Hellrider. Oh, boy. Well, and then in turn. Alright, what do you have? What do you have for me? Uh, no. Alright, so not too much. I just slowed them down. I would rather not give them either side of the- oh, are you kidding me? Well, now no attack is safe. Oh, okay. Well, that's a, that's a thing, I guess. I'll try it. Getting them to use up two cards in their hand isn't that big of a deal right now, because they already have enough lands. They don't necessarily need any more lands, I would imagine. Oh, but they're still playing them out. Interesting. Okay. Alright. As much as I would rather take something more substantial than a Llanowar Visionary, if I do, Act of Treason, take it, and then I can fire it off to kill the... Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Kill the Leaf Gilder. Hey! Alright, cool. Let's... Maybe I should do Hellrider instead. That's a lot of ramp to leave them with, though. I'm actually going to start with the Act of Treason. Act of Treason, take you. With that many cards in hand, I would rather them not. Uh-oh. Okay, that worked. Worked out. Alright. Their damage. Sec. Let's see. I'm just gonna kill the Gilder. Sacrifice you. There we go. There's a combo. Alright, now they'll start spitting out zombies. Zambonis. No, they're not. Not yet. They're still playing out lands. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's a good choice for it. Okay, well that's a problem. This is an instant. 
a white. Now they'll start spitting out Zambonis. Alright, there we go. They're one mana shy. So because they discarded that, maybe. Maybe. Wait a minute. Let's discard two cards, not discard two land cards. I keep thinking of it being land cards because of treasure hunt, but no, it's just cards. Just discard cards. Oi, oi. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how I get out of this. Reign of Revelation's nice. Oh, no. I mean, it, it could be significantly worse, to be fair. Oh, maybe I should have... I don't know. Spell Pierce isn't in here. Alright, so hit me for five. Because they do have to start attacking at some point, even though this thing can get flying. Reign of Revelation. Aha! Uh -huh. Guess it has to be the extra land, right? Oh, especially when there's another one on the way. So, Hellrider Hobblefinged, I guess. Hellrider Hobblethane makes sense. And it does have haste, so regardless, it will be able to attack. Six, they'll presumably block, chump block, make a zombie? Well, they could just make a zombie here, and then take out both of these. But it's too late for that. Already past that stage. Okay, they're getting rid of the Hell Rider. I don't blame them. Yes, that is the order that I would like. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. I was about to say, I could have done the other way around, now that I don't think that they can actually get much out of that extra mana, uh, but they already have seven regardless. Hmm. Yeah. And because it's in the graveyard, they can start to get it back. So yeah, I messed up. Yeah, I should have done zombie first. Eight. Okay. Uh, good game? Question mark? Don't I just win here? Oops. 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 Cancel. 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 Target you. There we go. Holy crap. Cancel. 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 All of the cancels. There's, there's something. They have some... Wait, wait, what's in the graveyard? It doesn't matter. It's too late for that. Alright. Did we get there? What do they have? I'm scared, folks. I'm scared. <gasps> no! Uh, okay. So... Let's see. Sacrifice another creature. Alright. It's okay. Then we play Havoc Jester and sack Hobblefiend to itself and we win. No, sack another creature. Alright, cool. Alright, we go to one. Can we do it? Can we do it? I don't know. Alright, they're looking. Why 
are you attacking with both? What are you doing? Okay, they have two cards for discarding for a zombie, so that is that is fair. Uh, but and it has trample anyway, so even if they make a zombie here, we still win. I guess I'll give him the good game as well. Alright, what's what's next? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, never mind, we got there. Um that attack was a little uh they didn't have to attack with the zombie as well. They could have just attacked with the Grave Waker. Alright, so now hey, there we go, we have a pack. We'll open a pack. Why not? See what we get inside. Alright. Skeleton. Ah, okay. Pursued Whale. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> It's Moby Dick. It's Moby Dick the card. 1-1 one, one Red Pirate with This Creature Can't Block and Creatures You Control Attack Each Combat of Fable. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, sure. That's, that's kind of neat. That's a neat little flavorful design. Alright, one more. We can do one more. Uh, I keep looking over to it like it's just suddenly going to be full of coffee again. Unfortunately, alas, that is not how this works. Zyre Tire. Hmm. I don't know that I got all that many cards that are actually useful to me playing in Historic. Uh, although this does serve as the first instance for each of those basic lands, so I guess that's neat. Not that either of these are my favorite. This one's pretty cool looking. This one, I, I can't, I, I, I get it. I can see how someone would like that, it's just not my cup of tea. And, and yes, I'll keep. Two counter spells, collateral damage, chain brute. I'll keep. Okay. And it even has a bird on it. Hmm. Alright. Taking their time. Oh, it's fine. Gives me a moment to roll up my sleeves. There we go. There we go. Might as well do something, right? That doesn't involve running downstairs and trying to make another <laughs> cup of coffee real quick. Oh no. Come on, opponent. You can do this. Aha! Okay. Aha! Right. Witch's Cauldron. Okay. Uh-oh. Hold and pass. Hold full control again. Let's see. Hound. When it blocks or becomes blocked, deals one damage. Oh boy. Okay. Hmm. It would trade with the Chain Brute. Which might be alright. I mean... Yeah. That's okay. Yes. It would indeed trade. I am giving up holding these. Holding these up. Which may not be ideal. This is one of my least favorite burn spells. Unfortunately, like, Bolt Impressions. It's one of my least favorite Bolt Impressions. Oh boy. I'll make that trade. Alright, one damage, and then take two. There we go. Alright, what do they have next? Oh, they don't. Perfect. 
Perfect. That's what we want to see. Grim Lava Mancer. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, folks. That's not good. And I just kind of revealed hey, look, I have a counter spell. Alright, so we can unsubstantiate it just to return it to hand. Let's look at what else is in our hand. We have a 5 5, which is fine, we'll get there. A 3 2, though, that'll die pretty soon. Let's just keep playing it out, though. Yeah, you don't have enough. Alas, you do not have enough. This is from uh, Seismic, I believe. Okay. Hit me for one, I dare you. I dare you. Alright. Enters the battlefield, target player loses two life and you gain two life. And we'll get rid of that. Alright. Into my turn. Act of Treason Collateral Damage. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's do this first, actually. Boop. Yep. Boop. There we go. Slow him down just a mite. Just a hair. Just a touch. And it also keeps them from killing my Ghost Light on this next turn. I think there's Locked on Red Mana, right? I would like to use the collateral damage to actually kill something substantial, but if I can use active trees and collateral damage just to get rid of Grim Lava Mancer, that might be okay. Yeah. Because otherwise I'll, I'll lose the Ghost Light, so this is okay. Now, how many cards do I have in my graveyard? Two. Doesn't matter, I still need to sacrifice it. Oh, oh, that's what they're going to do. No, they're, no, they're not. Okay. I would have. I can understand why they might not. If they had, we just hold up and substantiate. Boop. And sack you. Okay. Play your big cards. Play your big stuff. Or Cauldron Familiar. You can play that instead. That works. That's fine. Hmm. You could do Spiteful Prankster and hold up Unsubstantiate. Or I could get a 5-5 five five down. Dies, deals one damage target. Okay. Well, regardless, let's do this. Hi ya! Alright, this is fine. Hmm. Sacking the familiar, drawing a card, draw a cat. Okay, in turn. Ooh! Ooh! Can't be countered, you say? Can't be countered, you say? Aha! Alright, Volcanic Fallout's going to kill these two next turn, regardless. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, Jester. Can't be countered. What a world we live in. That's more mana efficient, but I didn't have to do that. They're just going to play it again. I'll lose my two creatures. They'll take one. Because of a spiteful prankster. 
and then they'll be at five, and actually they'll take two, and additionally because volcanic fallout deals two to each creature and each player. So that's game. Get the Smash Bros. announcer. Game. This game's winner is T1 Listener Elf. I'm okay with that. I'm a-okay with that. Ay ay ay. So yeah, that's that. That's, uh... That's devilish above the clouds. I did not expect that to go as well as it did. Uh, but, I, I guess it works. Can't argue with that, <laughs> you know? Alright. I don't know how, how long it's gonna be before I play Jumpstart again. Um, as much as I would like to grind for that last enchanted pack, um, I don't know. I also don't know how long it's going to be here. I may want to try to keep my coins up for, you know, uh, for other daily deals or for events that show up. If I ever were to spend money on a daily deal, and I, I don't, unless it's a card, but like, like, to get on a card style, I should say. Yeah, okay. It would be probably for something like Sanctum of All, because I've just randomly pulled three of them, and it's definitely a playable card in Standard and Historic. But no, I, it's cosmetic, it doesn't actually... I'm a free-to-play player, so I don't spend money on the game. So, I can't afford to spend money on cosmetic items. Which is why, aside from like the Mastery Tree, I don't have any. Just how it is, I guess. Alright, and uh, that'll do it then. <laughs> Take care, Magic Community, I will see you all later. Bye-bye!